John, do you feel like the rest that you guys got during the bye week paid off last night and, and might be getting you off on the good right foot on this next stretch of games? Well, I, I think you're always, as a coach, you're always looking to get your team some rest. Um, five days is, uh, as it's gone through the league, it's, again, I don't know how you manage it. Uh, uh, it's a lot of time off. Uh, we play a pretty good game last night. I don't think the Islanders were dead on as far as their game. Uh, I liked our energy, so sure, we're. Re I, I think the team's rested. Um, it's really weird in end of February you have that much time off, though. Uh, uh, we're uh, coaches are always looking to get rest for their team. Five days in a row is quite a bit. You know, we've talked about how young your team has been. Maybe for this team and the guys who aren't used to playing this long stretch of games, well, it I might think, have been just the right remedy. I think individually it's different. Like I, I know for Zach Wierenski, our defenseman, who's not ju he's just not used to playing this much and traveling this much. Uh, I think teams have played different against him as they've gotten to know him. They've been a little bit more physical on him. There are certain individuals that, no question, the, the amount of time off is good for them. It, you just weigh that versus... Uh, Okay, are they ready to get back into it mentally? Quite honestly, Dave, for me, it's not a physical rest for players. Uh, I think in all sports, I, I think it's a mental rest uh, that's more important. Uh, the physical stuff, they, these are, these are top-notch athletes. And, but the, the mental part of the game, uh, uh, the constant traveling, the constant schedule, uh, the monotony of a National Hockey League season, I think that's nice to get away from. So how much better has Bjorkstrand made you not just with his own play but but by busting up that top six or changing the look of the top six making some guys even a little bit hungrier for ice time yeah yeah well I, and, and I'm, I'm not doing that to make guys hungrier I, I, I am not gonna uh, Bjorkstrand's not gonna come up from Cleveland and I'm gonna play him on a third and fourth line there's no sense of bringing him here uh, I, I see such a tremendous future him in the organization just because of the skill level I mean the, the puck follows him I think he understands how to get into situations where people can get him the puck. And that's an ability. A lot of people don't have that ability. So uh, it, it, with him here and then with a couple injuries, it's, a, it, it's, it's made me tinker with the lines. And, it, and in, my, in my thinking, when you have to do that, I want to see where we could get some balance. Uh, I, I was very, very happy with the balance of all lines last night. But last night's a game, you know, I thought we played really well. I thought we did a lot of really good things. I thought we played a team that had a clunker that's been playing very well. Uh, uh, so we can't read into it too much. Uh, uh, but I thought all lines contributed. So we'll, we'll, we'll go day by day here and see where we go. How much does the way Corpus Allo played last night just reassure you about that? position in the back up there which had been I know you've been searching for a little bit to find a guy you believe in yeah well, well you and I've talked about this the past couple of days I, I'm still not sure where it you know where it all uh, unfolds with him and Forsey because they've both played very well in this organization they both were a big part of that call the cup last year uh, Corpy that the opportunity that he's had here with us I think has done uh, a little bit better job in, in the opportunity he has uh, so that's why we've stayed with him uh, it certainly doesn't shut the door on Forsberg because he's he's a very good goalie and has played very well. So uh, I, we we don't want to get into we're there for a couple of weeks going back and forth with goalies. Uh, we want to try to make a decision based on whether it be fair or unfair on the on the chance that they got. Corpy grabbed a hold of it and quite honestly hasn't relinquished it yet. Yeah. And that's the way we're going to go about it. It looks like your team is comfortable playing in front of him. Well, I, I saw that last year uh, yeah. when when when. Bob was hurt. I, I, I remember talking to you guys all through that, that I thought we were playing really well off our goalie. I think that's really important for a team is how you play off of your goalie. Do you feel comfortable? We're trying to play, uh, uh, you, know, you know, the safe is death. We're trying to go. We're trying to get on the attack. I think you players need to feel comfortable that you're going to get a save. Um, if a mistake is made in the style that we're trying to play. So, yeah, I do. I, I think they feel that way, uh, and I could see that last year in the amount of games he played for us. It's been a couple of months since Gagne's scored, but boy, the scoring chances are coming yeah, big time now. Have you seen new life in his game in the last, last yeah, few Yeah, I like the line. I like yeah. that line. I, I thought they had a couple of struggles in their end zone. I thought they got a little sloppy in the end zone. Uh, but I, I thought for Sam, uh, a part of his game that I thought was better, he was harder on the puck. Um, when he didn't have it, I thought he fought for it, where sometimes when offensive guys are struggling, they hope people get him the puck. And I thought Sam really, uh, uh, the whole line, I thought they played really well as far as battling four pucks and, and getting second, third opportunities on their four checks.